Amen. Good morning. Good morning. A pleasant, uh, a pleasant good morning to everyone as we continue our scripture reading today. We go to Psalm, Psalm 89. Amen. Psalms 89. <clears throat> Let us get back in the habit. Make it a habit to read God's word. Amen. Praise the Lord. Father, God has become before you, Lord, today. We come to you in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Father God, we ask that, Father, you cover us under the precious blood of Jesus Christ this wonderful day. Father, pray that you open up your word to us, our understanding, O oh God. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, Psalm chapter 89. <clears throat> the Bible say, I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. With my mouth I'll make known thy faithfulness to all generations. For I have said, mercy shall, mercy shall be built up forever. Thy faithfulness shall thou establish in the very heavens. I have made a covenant with my chosen. I have sworn unto David my servant, thy seed will I establish forever, and build up thy throne to all generations, Selah. And the heaven shall praise thy wonders, O Lord, thy faithfulness also in the congregation of the saints. For who in the heaven can be compared unto the Lord? Who among the sons of the mighty can be likened? unto the Lord and verses 7 Amen <clears throat> verses 7 said uh, God is greatly to be feared in the assembly of the saints and to, be, and to be had in reverence of all them that are about him O Lord God of hosts who is strong Lord like unto thee or to thy faithfulness wrong about thee. Thou rulest the raging of the sea. When the waves thereof arise, thou stillest them. Thou hast broken Rahab in pieces as one that is slain. Thou hast scattered thine enemies with thy strong arm. The heavens are thine, the earth also is thine. As for the world and the fullness thereof, thou hast founded them. The north and the south, thou hast created them. Tabor and Hermon shall rejoice in thy name. Thou hast a mighty arm, strong is thy hand, and high is thy right hand. Justice and judgment are the habitation of thy throne. Mercy and truth shall go before thy face. Blessed is the people that know the joyful song. They shall walk, O Lord, in the light of thy countenance. In thy name shall they rejoice all the day, and in thy righteousness shall they be exalted. <coughs> For thou art the glory of thy strength, and in thy favor our horn, our horn shall be exalted. For the Lord is our defense, and the Holy One of Israel is our King. Then thou spake in vision to thy Holy One, and said, I have laid heap upon one that is mighty. I have exalted one chosen out of the people. I have found David my servant with my holy oil, have I anointed him, with whom my hand shall be established, mine arm also shall strengthen him. The enemy shall not exact upon him, nor the son of wickedness afflict him. Amen. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen.
Praise the Lord. Uh, verse 23. I'll beat down his foes before his face and plague them that hate him. But my faithfulness and my mercy <coughs> shall be with him, and in my name shall his horn be exalted. I'll set his hand also in the sea, and his right hand in the rivers. He shall call upon unto me thou art my father my god and the rock of my salvation also i will make him my firstborn higher than the kings of the earth <clears throat> my mercy will i keep for him for evermore and my covenant shall stand fast with him his seed also will i make to endure forever and his throne as the days of heaven for sturdy in his children, if his children forsake my law and walk not in my judgment, if they break my statutes and keep not my commandments, then will I visit their transgression with the rod and their iniquity with stripes. Nevertheless, my love and kindness will I not utterly take from him, nor suffer my faithfulness to fail. My covenant will I not break, nor alter the thing that is gone out of my lips amen <clears throat> verses 35 once have i sworn by my whole holiness that i will not lie unto david his seed shall endure forever on his throne as a son before me verse 37 it shall be established forever as the moon and as a faithfulness, faithful witness in heaven. But thou hast cast off and abhor, thou hast been wrought with thine anointed, <clears throat> thou hast made void the covenant of thy servant, thou hast profaned his crown by casting it to the ground. Amen. Good morning, Sister Gita. Good morning. God bless you. Amen. When Psalms 89, verse 40, Thou hast broken down all his hedges, thou hast brought his strongholds to ruin. All that pass by the way spoil him. He is a reproach to his neighbors. Thou hast set up the right hand of his adversaries, thou hast made all his enemies to rejoice. Thou hast also torn the edges of his sword, and hast not made him to stand in the battle. Thou hast made his glory to cease. Thou cast his throne down in the, to the ground. The days of his youth hast thou shortened. Thou hast covered him with shame. Selah. How long, O Lord, wilt thou hide thyself forever? Shall thy wrath burn like fire? Remember how short my time is. Wherefore hast thou made all men in vain? What man is he that liveth and shall not see death? Shall he deliver his soul from the hand of the grave? Selah. Lord, where are thy former love and kindness, which thou swearest unto David in thy truth? Remember, Lord, the reproach of thy servants, how I do bear in my bosom the reproach of all the mighty people. Uh, wherewith thine enemies have reproached, O Lord, wherewith they have reproached the footsteps of thine anointed. Blessed be the Lord forever. Amen and amen. <clears throat> Psalms 89. Psalms chapter uh, 90. Amen. A wonderful psalm again. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> this is a prayer of Moses, the man of God. Psalms uh, 90, Psalms chapter 90, a prayer of Moses. Lord, thou hast been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever thou hast formed the earth, 
the world even from everlasting to everlasting thou art God thou turnest man to destruction and says return you churn of men for a thousand years in thy sight are but as yesterday when it is past and as a watch in the night thou carriest them away as with a flood they are as a sleep in the morning they are like grass which grow it up in the morning it flourish it and grow it up in the evening it is cut down and withered for we are consumed by thy thine anger and by the wrath are we troubled thou hast set our iniquities before thee our secret sins in the light of thy countenance for all our days are passed away in thy wrath we spend our years as a tale that is told the days of our years are three score years and ten and if by reason of strength there are four score years yet their strength yet is their strength labor and sorrow for it is soon cut off and we fly away who knoweth the power of thine anger even according to thy fear so is thy wrath <clears throat> so teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom amen of verse 13 return o lord how long and let it repent thee concerning thy servant O satisfy us early with thy mercy that we may rejoice and be glad all our glad <coughs> all our days make us glad according to the days wherein thou hast afflicted us and the years wherein we have seen evil let thy work appear unto thy servants and thy glory unto thy children unto their children and let the beauty of the lord our god be upon us and establish thou the, the work of our hands upon us yea the work of our hands establish thou it amen praise the lord praise the lord <coughs> praise the lord mm. Psalms chapter 91, a wonderful psalm. Amen. The Bible says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, and Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noise and pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers, and under His wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by day, nor for the arrow that flyed by night. Nor for the arrow that flyeth by day. Nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. Amen. <clears throat> Verse 7. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling, for they have for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble, and I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him 
my salvation. <clears throat> there are about nine promises right there in Psalms 91. Amen. In the word of God, how God promised to be with us and to deliver us and all and, and such on. Amen. Praise the Lord for that. Amen. Well, uh, Psalms 91. I will stop there for, for now. May God richly bless you. Have a wonderful day.